Developing a story idea from a setting character extremely rudimentary premise. I'm an animator who's trying to branch out into a more narrative filmmaking than I normally do. Writing or storytelling is very new to me and I'm having lots of difficulty coming up with a story worth telling. My brainstorming process is mostly focused on characters and settings that I think would be interesting subjects, but I can never actually find a story for them. Any tips or creative exercises for developing a story this way? Or do you think starting with a character or setting is not the best way to start the writing process? Thanks in advance. Yeah, so this is the main thing here. My brainstorming process is mostly focused on characters and settings that I think would be interesting subjects, but I can never actually find a story for them. So I guess the question is, why are they an interesting subject? And that the thing that's interesting will usually suggest what they'd be doing that would be interesting, as opposed to is just a fact about them. This guy is really tall. That doesn't suggest a story, but also it isn't that interesting to focus on just someone that's just tall and has no personality or anything. So let's make some characters, I guess. So guy that's tall, Jason Bourne, that has amnesia, and he's a spy type guy. So, um, those are interesting things. Um, trying to think of less dramatic <laughs> examples. A woman whose kids have left and she doesn't know what to do with her life like midlife crisis style or something so like that's interesting because of her situation and that situation so she doesn't know what to do with her life implies stuff happening what does she do to try to find out like who she is in life what repercussions come from those attempts things like that. Uh, with Jason Bourne you get stuff like doing spy stuff. Things he ca can't remember coming back to bite him. The guy that's tall doesn't necessarily have any story stuff because there's no like personality things or like a hook or a situation they're in that kind of implies the thing. Uh, you've got a detective with a heart of gold. Gruff detective with a heart of gold. And that implies that they're going to be gruff to some people, but also show a heart of gold. So there's going to be some conflicts where those are those are warring within him. So some sort of situa situation that causes those to bounce off of each other. Things like that. So like even kind of cliche kind of characters imply a story to them um so then you'd you'd have to like start outlining what that situation is and the circumstances surrounding it that caused that situation and all that kind of stuff like the case they're on the other people that they are rough to the reason that they show their heart of gold in this situation because of other reasons like which suggests more detail about their backstory and why they this particular situation is different or how they react and all that kind of stuff so 
for characters, if you have an interesting character, it the way that they are interesting suggests various story things that can happen. So then you just start filling out those particular things, uh, those beats of the story, and that develops the whole story in general. And then uh, settings that you think would be interesting. So I I tend to go for settings that are interesting myself. I get interested in like world building. So for me, that's like stuff like um, fantasy and sci-fi. So it's more the world building is more interesting because it can be wild. So if it's like fantasy, there's some magic rules or something like that that make this world different from our world. And then where do those intersect? Like what edge cases are there? What loopholes are there in these rules? And then that would be... so. The fact that it's um, a fantasy world with these magic rules is interesting in itself because you kind of the reader starts to learn those. But then these um, situations where they intersect and interplay with each other, where um, more unexpected things happen and stuff like that, are even more interesting. So these suggest um, specific situations with more dramatic outcomes yeah if it's like sci-fi then you might have some tech and that has rules as well um and you could do the same stuff with with um what are the loopholes what like unexpected things could happen like if the tech starts to break starts to break down what starts happening and um, how would people respond to that and then that suggests again like a story coming from that like if you think of any space film they all pretty much are about stuff going wrong so when there's a uh, a mission to the moon or the, to Mars or something, then it all goes horribly wrong and most people die and all this kind of stuff because that's a dramatic thing that could happen on this mission. If nothing, if nothing went wrong, if there's no weird intersections, there's no um, dramatic outcomes from this situation, then why are we even telling this story? So it kind of almost demands that, that those kind of stuff, those kinds of things happen. When it comes to uh, just um, real world stuff, I guess it also ha kind of has rules, maybe. Like, um, I mean, there's, if it's like a cop thing, uh, then there are laws, and those are the driving force behind those stories of, like, catching the criminal and proving who did it and all that kind of stuff. If it's just like a drama, like a family drama or something, the rules are the characters themselves. So this character is uh, a moody teenager. This character is the, the dad who can't um, identify with a moody teenager. And those are the rules of like how they behave or how they see the world. And then the story that comes out of that is those rules clashing and uh, those characters butting heads and all that kind of stuff. So maybe that'll help go from just interesting characters and interesting settings and how to turn those into actual stories.